I'm going to give you a quick test. Ready? Look at this page. Where does your eye land first? The lead photo? The headline? Is it color that attracts your eye? Maybe it's the main story. How long does it take to get to the navigation bars or teasers? For newspapers and websites to have a future, they must get the answers right. If papers can't attract and hold readers' eyes, they may have no readers at all. There's so much that the uh, audiences need to tell us about what they're looking for and how they're reading. What about online pages? Is it a moving image that catches your eye? A big picture? A headline? What makes you jump to a new page? The industry is looking for guidance. This is what we do. The Pointer Institute's iTrack 07 will allow researchers to know for the first time how the eye navigates printed and online pages. How do they fit? Are they comfortable? Mm -hmm. comfortable. The Pointer Institute's iTrack 07 used a carefully calibrated headset that positions a tracking lens over a reader's eyes. Look at the top of this board for me. The tracking program is accurate to within a quarter of an inch, making it possible to not only know what the reader is reading, but how much they read and what graphic elements attract and hold the reader's attention. iTrack 07 recorded the reading habits of 600 newspaper and online users, men and women, across all groups. We're testing 200 readers at tabloids, 200 readers at broadsheet papers, and 200 readers of news websites. This iTrack study uses real newspapers and websites, not prototypes. Researchers tested 30 days worth of newspapers. The websites were live and constantly updated. We wouldn't want to test just on one day on the off chance that there might have been a serial killer or a plane crash or something really dramatic in a community that would change the way a paper is read. Chunky we text. have a chunky text, yay! iTrack identified more than 150 newspaper and online elements that researchers wanted to measure. Before every day of testing begins, the team scours the day's newspaper and places stickers next to every individual element in the paper. Then, they assign codes to each sticker. And we're getting really detailed. So, for example, every comic, every sports listing, every agate listing for business has a number. Every jump line has a number. Since every component part of the page bears a code, it becomes possible to figure out exactly what attracts a reader's eye. Teams of graduate research students from the University of Florida painstakingly watch the eye track recordings and compile the data about what and how much the reader consumes. Watch the eye track tapes. Readers' and online users' eyes constantly move up, down, and across printed and online pages. We're interested in location. Is it in the top left hand of a vertical rail, the top right hand of a vertical rail? Is it something that is shown across the top of a front page? And this is one of the things that in the newspaper world is really highly debated. The same with online. Where do you place reefers and teasers and promos, and do people actually use them? Just as previous eye tracks have pointed to the importance of color in photographs, eye track 07 may spark the revival of creative headlines. I think that you will see a lot of reaction to words that invite. And it's not easy to write an inviting headline. You can have the same story read by 40% more people with a headline that entice you to get there. In addition to studying the reader's eye movement, pointer researchers wanted to know how much readers understand and remember. So iTrack 07 includes a second test. Every reader reads one of three versions of a prototype story. All three versions contain the same information, but each one is packaged differently. The first version of this prototype is told in a very simple form with photograph, headline, and narrative. The second version is a little more graphic. Every last detail of the first version is in this version. Nothing has been added, nothing has been deleted. The final version for print is much more graphic. It has everything to do with journalism. Uh, how people consume information, how they comprehend it, is a huge piece of the puzzle. If you can't provide people with information in ways that, that they can access it, in ways that they can comprehend it, then you're wasting your time as a journalist. And frankly, at this point in, in, our, in our industry's development, we can't afford to waste time. Future iTrack studies may look at how TV viewers watch larger and wider screens. We're also interested in how eyes scan smaller handheld screens. And of course, we're interested in other ideas that media companies might have for iTrack research.